Hi guys, welcome to this video how to connect or how to reconnect the Wise Cam. That's not the Wise Cam pen, but it's about the same thing. It's no big difference. So the thing is, um, yeah, they have a button on the knees, which is a reset. This is what we are using. So why am I doing this video? it is because it's moving season so a lot of people are moving to a new location new apartment new home and there you will probably have a new internet service provider new wi-fi and then you have to reconnect your devices to the new wi-fi and it can be a little bit a challenge if you don't know how to do that so i'm going to show you how this works the easiest so let's go to the settings so here we have the Wi-Fi hope I can find that Wi-Fi settings so go to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi so we have it here so if you have uh, different Wi-Fi's available, go to the 2.4 gigahertz and not to the uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which you usually usually use because you think it's faster. Go to the 2.4 because the Wise Cam is only uh, capable to connect to 2.4, and if you are already connected there, then the Wise App will take this so i don't know why google decided to listen to that that's anyway so yeah here i you see i'm connected to the 2.4 gigahertz which is good so we go back and now we start with the wise cam app and so i have already connected number three so i'm connecting now wise cam four so i don't have to click on the old setting uh, which shows uh, that it is uh, disconnected so don't go to the old uh, camera so click on the top right and then say add a product and yeah by the way before you start the head i was a little bit too fast before you go to this app just make sure you have your wi-fi password ready because you have to enter that so the best thing is what i'm always doing is sending my wi-fi password by email uh, to gmail so i can just copy that on my phone and paste it then on the app when I'm using it. So I've already done that, but you can enter it manually, of course, no problem. So here we have to tell which cam we have want to add. So we have a uh, device cam normal or device cam pen, which is the rot rotatable one. So of course we have the normal one. And so we have to click on this thing here. So I'm doing that hope you can see that uh, here here here's the thing so I just click on that ready to connect. it says ready to connect so let's go to back to this app and go to next and yeah I think everything everything should be already there even the wi-fi password i can't believe that i'm not sure i'm just trying maybe it's not the right one yeah and um yeah when you have Ready to entered everything like with the, with the password uh, wi-fi password you can show this qr code to your cam qr code scanned please wait yeah and it will say qr code Scan, scanned but probably it won't work i'm not sure about the password i haven't filled in the password maybe it took the password from the last reconnect it's taking a little bit long so i'm going to interrupt this video yeah okay um that's strange why it says not the right uh, yeah I couldn't find the right network so I'm trying again 
So I went back, but for some reason, <laughs> while I tried to re-enter the password, it in a sudden the camera said uh, setup completed. So I'm going back and check uh, if this is really the case. And as you can see, it is really online. So I'm trying to connect now. Oh yeah. It looks like that's my camera, so I can move it around and it's already connected. So looks like, uh, yeah, there's no firmware. Okay, you can update if you like, but it really looks like if you have already added a camera to the same network, probably the password is already saved there. And the thing is, as you can see, uh, the camera was replaced, like the camera Vice Cam 4, which was at the button here, uh, it, it, it was replaced. So you don't have to, and to delete the old one or something like that. So it will just be replaced. So Vice, the Vice Cam app finds out which camera is which uh, listing here on this app. And of course, you can then later on rename it. I think that's this setting up here. Um, can't you remember anymore. Yeah, there was something to rename. Yeah, probably here. Yeah, I can uh, give old name and say Wisecam4. So yeah, whatsoever. I, I, I'm not going to bother you with this thing. So anyway, and that's the thing what you can do for all the cameras you had connected. Um, yeah, so just before you start, make sure that you have that you are connected with your uh, with your mobile phone to the 2.4 gigahertz network and you have the password ready or already copied uh, from uh, on the clipboard I mean from Gmail or wherever and then it should be pretty easy to connect everything so um, yeah quite straightforward I don't know why they haven't done something like uh, yeah, when, when you click on this listing and you have the camera which is not connected and you could just right click here and say, okay, yeah, I mean, it, it yeah, it, it's showing an error. Device is on, is on, uh, offline. Yeah, whatsoever, I can't read that. Device is offline, error code 90, something like that. So it should give you the op uh, possibility to reconnect then to new Wi-Fi. So I don't know why they didn't made make it easier it's just like adding a new camera it's no difference uh, than uh, yeah re-adding an uh, old camera is the same as adding a new camera it looks like it's no difference so yeah that's it for now uh, i was a little bit confusing i hope you still got the point uh, and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write in the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.